Success in mathematics and spatial reasoning are intricately linked. Research has shown this beyond question. Uh, spatial reasoning is what we do when we read a map, rearrange the furniture, pass a puck, draw a picture. Um, it involves mental and physical representations and movement of objects and ourselves in space. Spatial reasoning is involved in all aspects of mathematics and especially in problem solving, whether we're bu building a deck or a rocket ship. However, this incredibly powerful tool for mathematical thinking is, has been overlooked. Although it is crucially important in all areas of the curriculum, at every age, it's currently not taught explicitly in any part of the curriculum. And in spite of incontestable evidence that spatial ability and mathematical success are, go hand in hand, we currently don't understand very much about this relationship or how to support it. This is a major blind spot in education. Uh, my research is part of a recent movement to shine a spotlight on young children's spatial development. My work is part of a larger research study called Math for Young Children that's led by Dr. Kathy Bruce. We collaborate with teachers from JK to grade two to try activities that are designed to build children's spatial strategies. My work was particularly focused on computer coding, which has got a lot of attention recently because of concerns about computer literacy and a projected shortfall of skilled IT workers in the coming years. We engaged children in these activities for a period of four months and collected pre and post data uh, on spatial reasoning as well as number and geometry. Uh, we also collected data with a control group. My analysis showed medium effect sizes in geometry. This wasn't particularly surprising because geometry is most obviously associated with spatial reasoning in the mathematics curriculum. And so we expected to see some movement there. But I found large effect sizes in number sense, an area that we weren't explicitly addressing. This suggests that children may be developing number concepts while they're engaged in spatial tasks. It also suggests that children may have spatial strengths that can be fostered to encourage all kinds of mathematical thinking. This is crucial because major studies show that early success in mathematics is the key indicator to overall school success on a host of metrics. It's imperative that we get a better understanding of this relationship if we're going to open as many doors as possible for children to realize their full potential. Thank you.